writing, if it's the acting, if it's the if it's the directing, producing, whatever it is you want to do, just get started. Yeah. More questions? Uh, <laughs> brother, right um, you can take that mic. Thank you. One, um, this was a really great talk, and um, Q-Tip, it was an honor to meet you, and Ava, and um, I've seen your three films. I think you said there was another one before I Will Follow? Docs. Docs. i got to check that one out. And each of them are beautiful films, and they all have a certain sense of lyricism to them, and you do a beautiful thing with quiet moments, you know, mm -hmm. and you handle quiet moments very well. Mm -hmm. And I'm also, you... Even though, like, what I will follow, like, your budgets on um, that and Middle of Nowhere were very small, but you had great talent. So was that just, like, a part of, you know, you just had great relationships and you were able to get people to come through and work on them? Good question. Uh, no, I didn't know any of those people. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know any of those people before I will follow. Um, I had a script and I had passion. And the unfortunate thing that's fortunate for black filmmakers is black actors aren't working. Mm -hmm. And if you ask them and you have a piece of material that resonates with them and they can see in your eyes that you're dead serious, they will come. Because there's, you know, the complexity of the, of the roles are not there. And, and, and Sally Richardson's the lead of that film. No one's coming to her with the leads in films and a quiet movie that's about the heart of a black woman. I mean, she made nothing on that movie. She ended up, she ended, at one point she was like, Ava, these craft services are not sufficient. <laughs> like what? We've got cereal? We've got cereal. <laughs> it's a fifty thousand dollar film. And so at one point she came out of pocket to like finance the craft services department. She actually put money into that movie to, to tell that story. All of those people, I didn't know any of them. Um, but it is really just about the asking and about the the material. If you've got a good script and it is complex, you know, it doesn't have to be all positive, all that the complexities of who we are. Um, I say black actors will come, but I think, you know, many actors um, of all stripes, uh, you know, just, just want to do good work, so just ask. And now with social media, I mean, just DM him, you know, <laughs> you know I don't Twitter very much. But you can reach people now, you know, the, the, the usual walls to, to getting to folks, so those are collapsing as well. So. One more question, unfortunately. Wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you didn't do the top area. Up there, if there's a girl up there with a hat on. Hats <laughs> <laughs> help. We're not, we're not, we're not missing that for us. Thank you. Uh, can you say it for that? <laughs> Hi, Ava. <clears throat> um, my name is Brandy. I work with you on For Justice, and I just want to thank you for giving us an opportunity to. Um, be seen and sing about our dreams. Um, I just want to thank you for that. It was an amazing experience, and it was just amazing to work with you and um, just to see uh, how much you cared about the actors and about the crew, uh, all in the same. Like it was just, it was just so amazing, and I could just talk about that forever. So I just want to thank you for that. Thank you. Yeah. Take one more Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Uh, See you again. Just do it right here. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Ava. Hi. Um, I wanted to ask you, we were talking earlier about how there's no black Woody Allen yet or black Mike Nichols yet. I was wondering if you'd say the same thing about female directors, and if not, then what are the next voices you think that could become that caliber? Um, I mean, yes, we've had some, some women make things. I mean, Agnes Varda, Nora Ephron, um, Nancy Meyer. Yeah. Um, I mean, I named three, though. It's not enough. You know? It's not enough. So, I think, you know, there's an ageism in Hollywood that makes it difficult for, you know, filmmakers to, I mean, I think, isn't the story Sidney Lumet on his last film had to be shadowed by somebody? They made they made someone I can't remember who some young filmmaker who was a, a, a fan of his and a lover of his took time out of their career to be on that set because insurance wouldn't insure him to make that film. Um, so it you know it's tough all around. But when we look at legacy and we look at uh, um, the resources given, uh, yeah, people of color, women, really tough. So um, I intend to be. <laughs> <laughs> to still do whatever we want to do when we're, when we're 
old. I mean, that's not old. It's just in 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 the in the in the the, the time of life when you can take it all in and present it in a way that we can't now. And so I look forward to that. I hope I make it there. But I, I tend to be calling action and cut with my cane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.